Just the one find this time. I was in a charity shop in a local town and I found the Tiny Games Pack for £1.50. Now one thing I do when I find something like this and it was sealed with sellotape is I usually ask at the counter if I can open it because on previous occasions I've bought sealed objects from charity shops and the wrong games have been in them. The wrong game because a lot of them the volunteers who work in the charity shops are old ladies and no offence to them they usually open it up if there's a disc in there they're like okay they, they don't actually know whether it's the actual disc or not and that's not really anything to complain about really I've crossed out that so that wasn't crossed out um, when I bought it I crossed that out um, so this pack I saw it instantly one pound fifty I'm getting five games Toka 2, Silver, now this Silver sounds interesting, and so does this Draken, they sound really cool. So I thought, okay, so I opened it up at the front, and there were only four discs inside. Two discs of Silver, this is awkward. end up checking this box out. Um, inside were four discs. Roller Coaster Tycoon, um, Wild Metal Country, Silver Disc 2, and Silver Disc 1. So I'm like, okay, there's supposed to be five games in here, and there's actually four. The two discs of Silver, Wild Metal Country, and Roller Coaster Tycoon. So I'm like, okay, what about that Draken I was really interested in? It isn't in there, so the lady said, look, I'll knock 50p off it for you. So I said, okay then, and I paid a pound. Well, I didn't even pay a pound, somebody else paid that pound, but yeah, um, a pound for it. And then when I got home, I gave the box a punch, and out fell Draken. So still, no Toka 2, which is why I crossed out Toka 2 on the back, but inside was Draken, the Order of Flame, Silver, Silver, World Metal Country, and Roller Coaster Tycoon. Now, to be fair, I only want to play these three, Silver and Draken. But, I may give these two a go too. For a pound, I've got two games I really want to play, and two games I might play. And I now feel kind of bad for saying, well look, not all the games are in there because only one game was missing at the end but we could only we could only see these discs when we were in the shop and not this one which was stuck inside the box so yeah I feel kinda of bad about that but oh well um, I'm sure I'll end up buying something from their shop again in the future and um, evening it out because sometimes their prices can be ridiculous though to be fair I bought a Guitar Hero PlayStation controller from um, from the same charity shop a few weeks ago, and the wireless receiver is for a different make of guitar. Now, it's supposed to work, but I can't get it to work. Apparently, cordless phones can be a problem, so I might have to test it somewhere where there's not a cordless phone, i.e. not this house. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. That's pretty much my latest find. I went to a couple of charity shops yesterday, and there was nothing in them except for one. There was an amazing game in the window. I really want it. And the shop was shut. And they're not going to be open until Monday morning. So I'm going to be there bright and early as they open on Monday morning. Oh yeah. I'll see you next time. That's another gaming pickup video. And yeah, that's basically it. I don't want this to run on for too long.